Hello, beautiful people. My name is Jonelle, and welcome to This Square Room. So, Eugene, my wonderful co-host, how are you feeling? You're a little under the weather. Huh? Was is, is that a yes? Mm-hmm. What, you have like a cold or something? <laughs> Only, ew. Can you not do that into the mic? <laughs> yeah. Eugene. Okay, sorry. I have a cold. The, what was the one thing I asked you before we recorded? I said, don't cough, sneeze, make any bodily noises into the mic. Isn't It's disgusting and everybody listening is just like cringing right now. I cleared it, so now you don't have to worry about it anymore. At least it's gone. Who, like, who gets sick in August, actually? I don't know me. I mean, I've gotten sick like get, on vacation in Mexico. Yeah, so. <laughs> you got. Mm, yeah. But I get. I have a weak immune system. You have a Zika strong immune virus. system. Zika virus. I said Zika virus. You you said something. I don't know. <laughs> That's what she <you> said. <laughs> I know why you're sick. Why? Because you don't. You like you sit on public toilets. That's why you're sick. You are <laughs> like I. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so earlier, um, pretty shortly before we started recording, he disclosed to me what that he sits on, I, if I ever have to poop in public, I squat. Yeah, but I, I'll, I'll. You gotta hover. You cannot. So why can I poop in my work bathroom? Because your you work, per- how many people work? work, how many people at your work, I, I don't think I've pooped at my work i don't you know like if two ever. people at your job what are you worried no about? my office space like we share like i don't want to put toilet paper on the seat if you're so worried like i would say like eight to ten people like yeah, what is? no see when i was younger my mom used to do the thing where like you put like toilet paper or yeah. whatever or like even if the to- if the thing had the toilet seat protector like mm. you still put toilet paper over it because like it's so thin and like you feel like the germs are just jumping out at you They're jumping <laughs> out at you no matter what you do i know but i don't like i do not make contact with the toilet i would probably have to kill myself just wash if i did that your ass i would no i would like light myself on fire mm. because that's the only way it, like I don't know how nasty men's bathrooms are, public bathrooms, no, but not as women's. Girls as girls. But I don't understand why. I work at a gym. Girls' bathrooms are worse. You would think women are like more cleanly. No, you guys are disgusting. Like there's shit everywhere. Yes, and there's sometimes, tampons. Sometimes, sometimes I've never seen loose I've tampons, seen tampons, but you see the bloody toilet. It's still gross. Girls are worse. For every time I remember cleaning the gyms at Fitfulness, the girls' bathroom was always worse. People just left tampons around at the gym bathroom. Every occasionally, yeah. There's one time I saw like a shitty piece of toilet paper on the floor. There's always hair all over the place because fucking vaginas. The only thing that's nasty Vagina about Vagina hair? I'm thinking it's like hair from their heads, too. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> A lot of Eastern European girls there. Um, I don't know what that has to do with anything. Um, no, with the dudes, probably the gross part was like, for some reason, there's always ball hair all over the urinal. It's like, why is there so much ball do, hair? Do pubes shed I like guess. that? Like that? I guess, because every week I guess week it's hair, so it off. always sheds. But you only clean that once a week and there's ball hair Whenever all over Whenever I would work. Oh, well, I, okay. After like a while, I just stopped doing my job. And I just stood there, because it's a gym. You don't do anything. You just stand there. Oh, my God. You know? I don't know. I just think, like, I've... I try to avoid public bathrooms. Even the ones that look... You know, that you feel a little more comfortable in. I'm still not quick to just plop my ass down on any toilet seat. Well, sometimes you just got to shit. Yeah, and... Just put fucking toilet paper on it, you psycho. Just hover. Well, I don't feel like working out. Listen, it forces, you to, to, shit. Poop, it forces you to poop faster. You just got to... I don't let feel it like out. fucking going to sleep. Okay, no, you're not sitting... <laughs> Your feet wouldn't be on the toilet seat. Ew. <laughs> so you literally hover over it? Like a... Yeah, like a like a, work, like a like a like a wall to, sit or something like that. I'm trying to just have fun and shit and no. enjoy my time Mm-mm. having the poop come up my butt, all right? Like, every single time I pee, always. And, and like, I don't poop in public often, but I'm yeah. i to poop like it's a steady rainfall, not a fucking monsoon. Okay? No. No, like, I just can't. And, like, that's that's your problem. What? That's why you're sick. Because you I took a shit. You know how dirty that is. You know they clean the that they clean the. But they don't clean it in between. Like it's it's one thing. At the like, post, they, they, she cleans. She never speaks English. She's always speaking Spanish, 
And literally, since I've worked there at that depot, I've been at that depot for... Your voice sounds so different right now. I know. <laughs> um, Everyone's like, hmm, I can actually tolerate Eugene's voice this wait, week. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, I've um, I've been there since like Isn't November. Kinda cute? Thank you. you I said kind of. Oh, sorry, guys. My dog is... is well, he's whining No, like, I've been there since November, and this lady's never spoken English once. Oh. Always has her headphones. And she's always talking to someone throughout the whole day. Oh, like on the phone? Yes, through the whole day. And like, I sometimes think she's like schizo and just talking to herself and just hiding the schizo by putting headphones in. <laughs> no, but schizos wouldn't hide it. Yeah, but maybe she's aware of that fact that she's schizophrenic, so she doesn't want people to think that she's crazy, so she just puts headphones in. Or maybe she doesn't speak the language, so she feels very isolated at work and she wants to speak to people that actually speak her language. Sometimes I don't even think it's Spanish. Sometimes I don't even know what she's speaking. It's probably either Spanish or Portuguese. Well, I've listen, I'm, not, I'm not saying that she doesn't clean, but here's the thing, she right? She really well. Yeah, she could clean it. And then someone who hasn't showered in two weeks yeah, can come. Pretty gross. That's what I'm saying. And they come and they put their ass on it. And then now that's on your ass. Oh. That's what I'm saying. It's not so much about. I take showers. Because like, that's the thing, right? I like take public- a shower, though. I take showers. All of that is on your app. Maybe because I'm a woman. Like, I don't want any sort of bacteria on my butt cheeks because my vagina is right there. Like, is you it? know what I mean? Like, you guys don't have, like... Yeah, we have protection. It's called our fucking... I don't know. I mean, you guys have, like, a pee hole. But I'm just saying, yeah, like, the chances of stuff going hole. up there... It's a little hole. Yeah, ours is bigger ours than is yours. Gaping it's a gaping hole. It's not yours, per se. Yeah, I was supposed to... Don't call my vagina Some gaping. My vagina is not gaping. Ugh, I don't even want to hear that. <laughs> no but like i think f- so for me just like any germs in that area it's like the idea of it is just absolutely disgusting well, but I, what do you mean there's germs all over the place man. i know but i don't want fecal matter and like your coochie germs and ball hairs and stuff i i i squat always always yeah. always always what about in your toilet no because but i c- now you know that i use it what about now oh yeah, exactly have you used my toilet? Yes, of course. After using a work toilet? Uh, have you seen me after work sometimes? I look so like a... my ass has touched some of your random co-worker's ass? Yeah, probably. <gasps> Eugene. Uh, you know I'm a germaphobe. Why would you do that? I'm not that big of a germaphobe. Now that I know that, I'm going to be either paranoid and wipe down the toilet seat. I'm not going to squat on my own like toilet. I'm either going to be paranoid and wipe it off or I'm not going to allow you to use it. Stop making stupid faces at me. It's not funny. I just kind of wipe your seat all the time. I can't do any voices now, man. <laughs> Thank God. I'm, I'm sick and tired of like, your stupid voices. Ew. Stop. You don't know what that sounds like in these headphones. Right <laughs> <What? now. laughs> sound like a creepy old lady from like The Conjuring or something. You know it. Or what's the what's the latest? Do do your do your queen accent. Let me hear. Yeah. Try it. Try it. No, seriously, try. It. Eugene. Again. In it. In it. In it. I'm the queen. Okay. Yeah, I can't do it's, it. I sound like a wheezing old. You always sound like a. Person. <laughs> that's what you always sound like. That's well, what the accent like. sounds like. You just tell me you look like I'm dying. <laughs> you know what I hate when my wiener touches like the front. <laughs> yeah, can't relate, hun. Yeah, it's annoying. I don't have a penis. It's like just, it's like, I know man. I have that BDE, but I don't What's have that? big dick energy. You, I just exude confidence and swag. No, you like, don't. I got big dick energy, you but like, I don't. I don't. You got like kind of close to average dick. <laughs> have average average dick energy? Close, close to average. Oh, so like below, or like I'm a little above. I don't know. What's a that? little above? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I can't make those high pitched sounds. You just were actually because of your your oh, current situation. I'm I'm curious. What energy do I exude? You exude energy of a lump. Shut up. Just calm. You don't have big dick energy either. Thank you, Joe. Let's just destroy. Eugene's self confidence a little bit more. I'm sorry. We Let's I think you and I discussed this. No, but you don't have small worse. dick energy. You have like average dick energy. Oh, thanks. I'm just <laughs> average. I'm just average. Many people would love to be average. I want to be great. Well, you're not. 
<laughs> no, it's not about like I think the idea of dick energy is about like it's a stupid how term. people perceive you. It's still a stupid term. You remember how that started, right? Yeah, because I remember my granddad is like, my boyfriend has a big penis again. Again, but like anything's a big penis to her. Look how tiny she is. No, she's like five foot one. That doesn't mean anything. I think she if once you've dated a few people, you can compare. Yeah, you can gauge. Like you know. Mm. So that like her size means nothing. It's about the size of dicks that she's seen. Mm-hmm. And I guess even just like watching porn, you can like, you know. Mm, yeah. You're just like, oh, that one's bigger than this one. This one curves to the left. This one curves to the right. This, this one, one just says hello to me. This huh? one goes like this, <laughs> like a fucking snake. <laughs> this one a corkscrew like a duck. What? Ducks have corkscrew dicks. What does that mean? It's the shape of a corkscrew. Like the little spirally? Yeah. How is that possible? I don't know. It's science. I mean, that's science. Not of evolu- evolulu. Ducks? So what does a duck vagina look like? Is it I a spiral? I think it's a spiral, too. Ducks so per- so the ducks, they in order to sex, do they rotate? They have to, like, rape the duck, the male ducks. from just kind of like... Uh, okay. No! Yeah. So... What? So what? Like, how are you just going to tell me that? I don't know. Is he panting? No, nah, he's... Okay. Yeah, we were, you, were you saying so about so what? I don't know. Oh my god! Did Just, you you heard about that girl on YouTube who accidentally uploaded footage of her abusing her dog? Mm-hmm. So the whole story was. I guess like last week she actually no this was a few weeks ago but like it just recently you know came to light Mm. she uploaded um a video and like it was like her and her dog doing like challenges and like whatever like people have been doing on the internet it's like where people put like saran wrap over their the door i actually Mm. thought about it with the kingsley Um, i I didn't do it i thought about it it. my dog is smart i mean you can't jump for shit he can jump. You've been teaching yeah, him how to jump. Not enough to jump over. He won't see it. No, but you. Well, that's the point. So, like, the point was like, oh, will your dog uh, run into it? It's just like funny, uh, like dog uh, people uh, stuff, right? Uh, no, but she was doing like stuff like that and whatever. And like, she uploaded the video, and like a lot of her recent videos are with her. Her dog is a Doberman, and like whatever. So people are saying that she's using her dog for views because what she accidentally did was upload a video, like an uncut version. Um. Mm. And um, she immediately took it down because most people didn't see it. But the people who did, obviously, you know, once it's on the Internet, it's on there forever. Yeah, they so, saved it or whatever. Yeah. And I guess like re-uploaded it. And like I said, over those few weeks, it's been getting a lot of attention because she uh, pushes her dog. She hits her dog. She appears to spit on nah, her man, dog. She spit on no, well, damn, she, she made a statement where she said she wasn't spitting. Oh, so I don't like a yeah well that's what i'm saying so i'm like okay if you weren't spitting what was it because you are either mimicking the sound of spit or you like i even thought okay was she blowing on him but like that's not like she went <laughs> yeah like you the spit Who sound blows on is their dog? well i have people blowing their dog's face yeah no but it was different like she hit him like pinned him down on the ground and spat on his face she probably had like some underlying issues she was just saying like she was going through a hard time um, in life. It was rough, and she said that's no excuse, and blah blah blah. And mm. she's working on getting her dog trained and mm. stuff like that. But it's like in the video, she's like hyping him up, playing with him. So when he wants to like play and like get in your face, well, that's because Dobermans are also very dominant dogs. So if you don't like, but you saw the video. I saw. Yes, yeah, the dog didn't do anything crazy. The dog. She no. was like, oh, you know, when a dog has its open mouth and it's coming to your face she's sitting on the floor so obviously the dog is at face level for her it's not like the dog jumped up on her and mm. like stuff like that i don't know she just i don't trust dobermans anyway is a doberman the the dog that bit you bit my butt yeah um, i told him was, after that day i don't trust german dogs <laughs> just all trust, german yeah, dogs Doberman, because i call them dumbass breeds not because of the dog. Doberman specifically or no, all like German list. breeds? I have a list of, I call them dumbass breeds. Okay, what are they? And they're not because the dogs are stupid. It's because most of the people that tend to own them are stupid. Okay, so what are they? Dobermans, they're... German Shepherds, Rottweilers, Pit Bulls, any kind of Pit Bull mix. Like, any sort of dog that's seen as like a guard dog or aggressive? Or yeah, whatever. Mastiffs. Oh, uh, I don't know. There's probably a couple more I'm forgetting. Sorry, it's like weird hearing your voice like this. No, it's probably a couple <laughs> more I'm forgetting. But I call them dumbass breeds because... The people that tend to own them don't. They're dumbasses? They're dumb. They, well, they're not. Well, they're dumbasses. They, they don't, don't 
train them and handle them. Well, the they don't buy them to. because they want the dog for the dog itself. They just want them because it's as an intimidation tool. Cool to it's have. It's for their yeah. ego. I'm not gonna lie. I would love to. A part of me, a small. I do want a pit bull. And I'm not gonna lie. A small part of me does want one because I feel like it'd look cool as fuck. Pit bulls are cool looking fucking dogs. But they're also, I know they're amazing with kids. They're called nanny dogs, like back in the fifties. But it's just because dumbass people started owning them and fighting them and shit. And you know, they got the shit. Like they're banned in Ontario. Oh, are they? Yeah, that's why. Like every time, if you search, I thought it was bull, Quebec. No, it's here. Oh. Um, that's why every time you search like pitbull, if you want to get a pitbull, you have to get an American bulldog. That's what they are technically. Interesting. But yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like, do you feel like it's justified? Like what this girl did? No, there's no excuse. You shouldn't take your anger out on anything. Brooke Houts. I wouldn't say like she deserves her dog to be taken away from her, but like. No, it's not. Ethan from H3H3 was like, I'll buy your dog off of you. Like, sell him to me. Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of people, like, are, like, you know, yeah, contacting like, the fuck PETA out. and stuff. Yeah, people and people are, are all about this cancel culture and, like, st- let's destroy this person's entire life. They want because, her YouTube channel taken down. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's yeah, necessary. No, just, I gotta, think the video should, I mean, well, the, the video of the abuse should probably be taken no, it's down. No, taken down. She, yeah, well, I mean, she took it down. Someone mm-hmm. else just re-uploaded it. I think she shouldn't make money off of that video. Video, but I think her channel. I mean, I definitely do not agree with with what she did I at agree all. With everything. I know. I know. No, like you know, like when, Caesar Milan. When I watched the video, I was like, oh my god, and I looked over at my dog, and I'm like, oh, my old baby, whatever. Like, oh, and that's the your thing. Dog, your dog would die. <laughs> well, yeah, he's much smaller. No, but I get that. Like. I get the frustration. Like dogs can be, especially when they're untrained. Like they, yeah, they there's can. There's been times I want to throw Ted out the window. Oh jeez. Like, get out of here, you fuck. No, like, they get into things, they get frustrating, but it's just like having a kid. Like, your kid is gonna piss you off. <laughs> Anyone, like, your significant other is gonna piss you off, your parents, like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You cannot handle things like that. And if you take the responsibility, like, dogs are even more so like children because they need you to take care of them. They need mm-hmm. you to teach them and guide them and raise them, and they, they depend on you. So to be aggressive like that, and she was like, oh, you know, like, I, I don't... Mm-hmm condone it and i know what i did was wrong while i was going through stuff and like we are working on getting him training and like you know i'm learning how to handle him better like you know stuff like that mm. but a lot of people actually got more outrage after the apology because they were just like oh like, this is just bullshit no matter what people would be outraged if she didn't apologize people would be outraged be like wow she didn't apologize she felt like she didn't do anything wrong she apologizes oh wow she apologized i think she's wrong i don't she's wrong i don't have an opinion either way on whether her dog should be taken away or not I don't think dog should be taken you away. don't i don't know i'm kind of like mm, if she's like that with a dog all the time yes but we don't know that that's yeah. why i'm kind of saying like i don't have an opinion because i i, I feel like i can't speak on that mm. but i do think that her channel should stay up and like that sort of stuff i don't think mm-hmm. I, if you don't want to support her don't support her type of yeah, thing yeah, people fuck up because I believe when this all started, she had well, like like three hundred thousand subscribers. So she was like a like medium sized YouTuber. Like yeah, she had a. Like, down, like, two. I wonder. I feel she like she probably dropped down. Like I would imagine it's she could have pulled. Was, she could have pulled like a Tati Westbrook and like gone up, or like a like a nah. James Charles. Because James went down, but he went right back yeah, up. Yeah, because he had tea and all that shit. Do you think he bought? Some people think he bought his followers to get them back. Because remember, he was at fifteen million, dropped down to thirteen. Like, how do you just go back up like that? Like people just forget it. I don't know. I don't be the page. I don't know. I'd imagine like once again how culture is today. I'd imagine she dropped down probably like to a hundred thousand. Um, like, I think in, she's like, at three hundred thirty-three. Oh, so she didn't drop down that much at all. No. Oh, so people are just like, why? Well, people forgave her already. Then. Yeah, no matter she couldn't. I think like it. It probably evens out. Like the people who drop, who unsubscribe because of this. Like mm. some people would go to her channel just to see uh, like who this girl is, and they probably like, like. I like this shit. Yeah, and I be my dog on there. No, not even that. Maybe they're just like you know, like you. They're like, okay, like yeah, it was fucked up, but it's not that bad. I, I know, also I like her bad. other videos, so let me just subscribe because it's I do like her. Still bad, but I'm not gonna be like I'm gonna. I don't feel like your life deserves to be fucking ruined. I I agree. I agree like i said i don't know how bad she treats a dog one thing i don't agree with is in her apology where she denies the spitting and it's like if you didn't spit explain what it is because she didn't she just she's just like oh i know i understand why it may look like i spit on my dog but i didn't it's like okay so then explain because that really looked like you pinned him down and you spit on his face spit in his ear (laughs) <laughs> oh, maybe she, well, maybe she was just giving her a wet willy. Has an ear infection. First of all, a wet willy, you lick your finger. You do well, maybe, not spit. Maybe she's giving him 
a fucking a wet snowball in the air. I don't fucking uh-huh. know. I don't know. A wet... Uh, I don't, I don't just, know. I don't know. Oh, uh, God. I don't know. But, yeah. I'm sick. I don't know what I'm saying. You don't know what you're saying I on a good day. I woke up confused this morning. You wake man. up confused every morning. Uh, I, um, okay. <laughs> you can't even defend that because you know it's true. Oh, no. <laughs> Didn't you say you woke up like abruptly this morning? Yeah, I woke up abruptly and sweaty and I didn't. Oh yeah, that like the the when you have a cold and you just wake up in a pool of your own sweat. Yeah, it's like last night that happened. I was like, what? What's going on? <laughs> ah! Why is my pillow wet? Ew. Why are two pillows wet? I mean, maybe it was doing a little something else. I don't know. <laughs> not on the t- they wouldn't make the whole pillow wet. It was it was a joke, oh. and not a good one. I agree. I know, Amy Schumer. <sighs> I can't. I can't with this abuse. What abuse? You abuse me. Uh, this article that I tried to open has closed, so. Okay, well, I'll just try to summarize. It was the idea that, like, no, it wasn't an idea. It actually happened. There were these two drivers for Amazon who got busted for, like, over, like, $10 million of stolen goods. Where did they put it? Um, apparently it was like they see that's the thing because the fucking was article it Amazon closed. Courier? Yeah, they were they were they don't have to take a picture when they No 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 not like they were delivering like a truck like truckloads. Oh, they're like um They were driver like delivery like drivers. I, I guess I don't know how big their trucks are, but it was these two drivers and I guess it was a, a situation with um there were these two uh storefronts posing as pawn shops and they would buy um, shoplifted goods and resell them to Amazon. Mm-hmm. Um, and then these people would also, these two guys were also stealing um, goods that were supposed to be shipped from Amazon and reselling them and like that sort of thing. So they were busted. Apparently, this was going on for about six years, oh, uh, wow, particularly really? these, these pawn shops and stuff. It was over $10 million uh, worth of goods in total. And like the way I see it, like I. I guess I see why it's tempting to... Yeah, screw you, Jeff Bezos, you bald bastard. I guess I see why it's tempting to... What, you don't like him? Yeah, I don't really care about him. <laughs> I, I see why it's tempting to, like, you know, steal from, like, big companies. Because you're like, oh, these people are already rich. Like, this guy's like, what? Isn't he, like, the richest before? man in the world? Huh? Yeah, he's the richest man in the world. No. You know anything like a pencil? Sticky notes? Erasers? No, maybe Nothing? like a, maybe like a pen or something. Wow, you're a fucking thief. I've taken I said a n- couple sticky notes from my place. Okay. Is that No, I, I've never taken I don't really use post-it notes at work. I use them more in my real life, so I like will buy them from Staples. I don't take them. They won't notice. No, I mean, that's one thing. But what I'm saying is, like, I understand the mentality that people have. I don't agree with it, but I understand it. When mm. people see like these big corporations and they're just like, you know, like what is it to you if I like they feel like they're not stealing from anyone's pockets personally yeah, but so are. they are just like let me do this and like whatever you know mm. but um, that's definitely not the way to go and it's just kind of like why, why risk like I don't know what like what, what am I looking for like why, why risk getting caught and ruining your whole life because you want to be greedy just work hard and or 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 it's not that easy joe it's not easy no i'm not saying it's easy steal from baby or work my ass off listen it's not easy but what is the alternative jail from baby jail see you from the bald bastard jay stay steal from basil oh that's what you meant when you said (laughs) baby yeah i'm called jeff basil's baby now Ew. <laughs> Kill me. That that cough didn't sound too bad. I know, but. Ugh. Oh, I'm not allowed to sniff. This fuck. I'm sorry. It's not. I just th- want to breathe out my nose. That fucking boogers in. No, the- no, no. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm saying don't do. Yeah, don't do it into the mic, Eugene. I didn't do it. You're gross. I'm You're actually disgusting. Not. You are. I am a clean person. You've been feeling better though, no. yeah. I feel like poop. No, but I co- also need to take a poop. <sighs> <laughs> you think I'm joking? No, I, I just remembered something you said earlier, but I was like, oh, I don't know if I should say it on the podcast because you're gonna be mad at me. Are you talking about the tent? What tent? Oh no! Oh, no. oh, okay. oh 
my god but see now you brought it up so Ooh. now everyone listening is like what are you talking about what Wait, i was I talking talk about, about what i was talking was what so i was referring to talk about it? what what <laughs> i was referring to was when you um Sorry. you said clenching your butt cheeks made you feel like you had to poop even more. yeah for some reason like earlier i guess i needed to poop earlier but I was, yeah you're trying to fucking area 51 me <laughs> and like fucking like clench my cheeks as you know I didn't actually I made the ge- I made the gesture as if to touch your your rear end and you like my clenched. asshole I didn't actually I but I didn't touch anything did you no I didn't but you clenched and you're like oh man now you're making me clench <laughs> I feel like I gotta take a shit yeah I didn't I don't I don't listen Area Fifty One is not somewhere that I have any interest to go uh, to is it not. Yeah, especially after your. I carni- want to go to Area Fifty One. Especially after your carnivore diet, and you're talking about how like your your ass is milky. Or it wasn't sorry. milky. It was gamey. Get it right. <laughs> it was a little bit of both. Ew. Oh no! You said that your shit was coming out like chocolate milk. No, not chocolate milk. Chocolate explosions. <laughs> it was just like. Pfft. Okay, thank you. I said it. Yeah, nobody wants. And then uh, a couple podcasts ago, you're talking about how hairy it is and swamp ass. Like, no. I didn't bring these words up. Lady. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still you waiting for you. You brought up the you hairy talked about butts. your, you talked about your hairy asshole. Did I? Yes, you did. Did I? Because <laughs> I don't think I did, man. You, you certainly did, and it, it was certainly did not. Indubitably, I did not. I what was that word? Indubitably, what's that word? <laughs> I'm not saying right. Is that the right word? Uh, speak into the mic. Indubitably? <laughs> indubitably? What you're saying is indubitably? Is that what I'm like, saying? Like, is it you're in the middle? Is it, say it again. Indubitably. Is that the word? Indubitably? I don't know how to say indubitably. it. Indubitably. Indubitably? <laughs> Look, I failed English every year. Leave me alone. But it's indubitably? A- <laughs> I don't know how to say the word. You're just so stupid. Sound it out for me. <laughs> Hold on, I can't. I can't. In Ooh, my face. Eugene. But in the middle, you're just going bub bub bub. In do bub bub bubbly. In do 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 bubbly. So it's like fucking scatting. Ba da da boop bop. A do bubbly. A talent. What scatting? Scatting's not a talent. You some people can do it really good. And Anyone can scat. No, but it's about doing it on beat as well. Okay. On, on tune, sorry, tune. Anyone can scat. Anyone that scat can right somewhat now. sing. Do it. Do bap, 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 boop. But that's, that's scat. Hor- no, that's horrible. Yeah, I didn't say you have to be good, but anyone can do the basic scat. Okay, that's like saying anyone can sing. No, it's not. Yes. Scatting is not a Any, serious skill. No, but because you're saying that like... <laughs> you're saying that any... Okay, that one was a little bit better. You you hit like a note. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, God. <laughs> <laughs> that one. <laughs> Ray Charles. That's what it sounded like a bit. Ray Charles. Mm, I don't know about that. It had a little I bit... I can't see. That, that note had a little bit of Louis Armstrong. That Did like, it? yeah, a little bit. Louis Arm- oh, that guy. The oh, trumpet guy, right? Guy. He was got to play trumpet, right? Oh my God! Listen, what I'm saying is, you trumpet? are comparing <laughs> scatting. <laughs> are you gonna shut up for a second so I can speak, or no? <laughs> oh, so that's a no. Okay, cool. So I'll just sit here. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, go on. No, no, no. By I'll all start means, I'll start man scatting. Don't say that. <laughs> what instrument should we do? Saxophone. Shut up and <laughs> let me say what I'm gonna say. Okay, sorry. You said that. Anyone can scat, and I said what you did was not good. But you said it doesn't have to be good. You still did it, so that's what I'm saying. It's like saying anyone can sing because you don't have to sing good, but you're still singing, so you can't say that. No, I stand by it. No, that's a anyone that can. It's not as like a acquired thing you need to learn. Anyone that can somewhat sing can scat. You're just doing. So you're saying you need to instrument. sing to be able to scat? Not really, no. So then what? What the fucking point? What's what's your Scatting's point? What is stupid. your point, Eugene? It's stupid. You're stupid. It's stupid. You're stupid. Just learn how to play an instrument. Your whole point is stupid. Your point is stupid. Your eyebrows aren't pointy <gasps> at the ends. What? Exactly. Oh my god. <laughs> you come for me, I come for you. Eugene. They still look nice. Coming fuck you. Coming for a woman's eyebrows? Well, your eyebrows look fine. They're well, shapely. Your, your nice. beard doesn't connect right here. Well I know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's not my beard, it's my mustache. It doesn't connect. Turn to the side. Let me see. It doesn't connect. Your be- no. you, you need a shape up. You, you yeah. need a shape up too. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you can't come 
for me and not expect for it to come back. I'm a boomerang, motherfucker. I come for you. You, I, I don't you know. came for me. For, you came for my eyebrows. You, you insulted me. Be saying you can't scat. You can't. I can't believe you just can't. Uh, uh, I feel like the like a woman's eyebrows is equivalent to a man's beard because men like to like no, upkeep. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Because think about it. You buy like your beard oils and you're you like buy eyebrow oil. No, but there's eyebrow gel, pomade, pencils. Um, there's eyebrow like growth serums. You gotta shape it up. You go get your eyebrows done the same way you line up beard. That's why it's oh, equivalent. Yes. And good eyebrows can make or break your face. Just like a man can look nice with a beard and he shaves it off and you're like, oh, God. Do I look good with a beard or without a beard? Um, you don't... Get without a facial hair and a... No. When's the last time I've been baby face? Well, you shaved your face the other day, but you still had your I mean, mustache. Like, face. like, everything gone. I haven't done oh, that. Oh, like, n- absolutely yeah. nothing? I haven't done that. In, I've been out a year. I think it's been about a year. No. I feel like... I don't like, even think we were uh, technically dating yet. That's when you took advantage of me that day. Nobody... Where Joe me too me. <laughs> you're such a liar and you're so dramatic. You took advantage of me. How? Did How did I take advantage it. of you? How did I take advantage of you? I was dancing with just, just, just watch whatever you say because I'll tell them stories about you. So I- if you want to if you want to go there, if you want to go there, All right, I'm fine. sure everyone in this square room... Would love to hear. Well, there's only two, three people in it. Well, he's not a people. He's an animal. I'm not talking about in this physical room right now. I'm talking about in the, in the internet, in the multiverse. In the multiverse? Yes. In the internet? <laughs> there's no multiverse. I am multiverse. Do you think this podcast could exist in a different dimension as well? It exist in a different dimension. In another what? dimension. Stop playing with your oh, cord, please. You're making noise in oh, the mic. Yeah. My bad. No, I don't know. There probably is someone, well, me and you doing this podcast in another dimension. I don't know if the, like, me and you in, like, another dimension, if we've met. Well, you don't know that. One dimension. I just said I don't know. Oh, you did? I said I don't know if we. Oh, sorry. You see, this is why I call you stupid. (laughs) Because you're an idiot. I just said I don't know. And you're like, well, you, I don't know. You know. Stupid. (laughs) I'm sick. Listen, Leave that does alone. Bitch, that does not explain. It does. My mind doesn't work. What about all the other days? What about last week? The week before? Last year? Hmm? I'm dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're insulting dyslexic people any like everywhere. They dyslexic insult people. Me. The words kind of jumble up numbers as well. That doesn't change common sense. It does. My darling. If you can't read, you're you just can't dumb. Read. I'm not dumb. I'm smart. <laughs> okay. Say indubitably. No. <laughs> this is bullying now. Oh, God. You bastard. I don't even remember what we were talking about. No, I, I just remember you were saying something stupid. Um, I'm, I'm dying entirely. Are you? Oh, Why are you wearing shorts and a hoodie? I don't know. I'm sweaty. You do that a lot, though. You'll, like, go to sleep in, like, shorts or, like, boxers or something and a dress hoodie. For weather. You don't, and I feel like that's probably really why don't. you you fucked yourself up and yeah. got sick because you weren't I dressed appropriately for whatever weather. Sorry. When did you start feeling sick? Saturday. Yeah, my throat was just hurting. I did it I... rain or anything last week? Oh, it did didn't it a little bit? I don't know, bro. I'm just trying to say maybe like you got sick. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You were saying something about like how you felt about um, unrealistic body expectations. Oh. No, I think it's like one of those terms that are just... I don't know. I don't... I, sorry, I'll stop pushing the thing. Um, what was I thinking? Oh, yeah, like... Oh, like when I'm... Well, I don't know. Spit I think it it's out. just like a... It's, it's not a stupid term. It is like a, a term. But like... Like when they show like... um, Let's say like... What's the guy? Chris Evans. Okay, mm-hmm. Captain America. Ripped ass dude. Uh huh. That's not unrealistic by expectations. You don't think it is? No. Okay. It's not unrealistic because it's a real body. Anyone, no one can get his body exactly because it's him, but anyone can get to that fitness level. But you're saying that type of physique is not unrealistic because anyone can get to that physique if you work. Not any any man can get to that physique if they work their ass off. Okay. Un- unrealistic body expectations to me, well, to me, a definition that make more sense is someone like. Like Cardi B or Kim Kardashian or Nicki Minaj, who actually has a fake ass 
and fake titties and shit. That's unrealistic because you can't get it because it was manufactured. An average person can't. So you think that unrealistic body expectations for men just well, just in general, all, all around. So if if it's, if it's plastic, something that is natural, it's not unrealistic because you can get it if you work your ass off. I agree. I agree with but that. But if you fucking get Botox every ten seconds and plastic surgery, all that, that's unrealistic because most your average person can't do that. Your average person can work their can do can get a body like that. You don't need to go to the gym to get like that. You just do calisthenics, and if you want to build the muscle, do weighted calisthenics. Stay in a rep range of 5 to 15. That's generally what you want to stay in. If you want to build muscle, do that. Improve 5 to the 15 re- what? Reps? Reps. Yeah. If you want to build, that's generally you want to stay in that. And because once you go over 15, that's your gains that endurance level. So you want to stay in between 5 to 15 to do the build muscle building mm-hmm. level, especially when it comes to calisthenics. And if you want to do more, if you want to, because doing strict calisthenics, you're not going to build bulk. So if you want to build the bulk, then you do isolation type of things. So you do like an archer push up or an archer pull up, or you put resistance bands around your shoulder. Blah 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 blah. blah. You know, anyone can get a body like that. You just have to work your fucking ass off to get it. It will take you probably years to get there, but it's yeah. It's, it's ironic that we King, talk about Kingsley Donner doesn't use as a talk whines in the background. I, oh, I, I know, but know. he's okay. He's just whining because he wants to be out and like cause trouble. He's a little troublemaker. Oh, Follow him on Instagram at Kingsley the Dog. K I N G S L E Y T A G D O. I don't think he's gonna eat these ones anymore because you gave him the better one. No, but the other ones are finished, so that was like the just the last one. Oh. Uh, yeah. Because he's like, I don't want that shitty bully stick anymore. He gave me the better one. He used to love them. Well, now he hates them. No, but I ordered the new ones. They came yesterday, so that's why he likes them. Yeah. Got yeah. a whole bunch of new snacks. But yeah, recently. unrealistic body. You need to work your ass off, man. I think a lot of um, women, like for instance, I think what I was showing you was, um, or what we were talking about was like this, uh, the like a fashion nova, right? right? Like recently, they've been doing plus size models, but for a long time, it was just like one body type and like just, whatever. It was just your typical Instagram hoe looking body just fat ass big titties. yeah and like small ways yeah and like you know surgically modified but then they use that to model their clothes and it's like yeah the clothes always look great and like Fashion Nova like their jeans like it's not a lie like their jeans are very flattering uh, they're, they're shoes, not anything special I guess it's just like a nice material and like flattering just like invest in actually properly good denim that will last you for your whole life is a blank sheet of fashion over probably ripping like a year okay but we're not talking about oh, quality sorry. we're not talking about the quality like of their China clothes quality clothes okay sorry I, I own no, fashion I know, stuff yeah, and I I yeah, yeah. Good in them. I appreciate what they do with your butt what are you talking about your fashion over clothes I appreciate the shape. I don't think you've ever seen me wear Fashion Nova like bottoms. No, no, no. None, none of those dress. None of those. No, no, no. That's Mm-mm. not Fashion Nova. Like, like my like typical like black leggings or whatever. Mm-hmm. No, there's not Fashion Nova. Oh. No. Well, I made a mistake. <laughs> That's what I was like. I don't I'm know what you're talking about. I do have Fashion Nova jeans. I don't think I have Fashion Nova like leggings or like no. anything like that. Uh, we'll go on about Fashion Nova. No, I'm just saying that like oh, what God. women have a problem with is. When um, their clothes are being modeled on those bodies that have been modified or enhanced, or even if it's a natural person, but then you Photoshop it after, mm-hmm. or that's why I have a problem with the Photoshop. Or yeah, or like these celebrities that we look up to, who whether they have surgery or not, are still face tuning, are still photoshopping, and it's like you can't tell someone what to do with their body, but it's also like but, you want to be like out here and be like, oh, like look like me, or you know what I hate? I hate when people have surgery and then they do like, oh, like work out with me. It's like, bitch, again, you, you you built that, like you like you didn't build it. I'm naturally. sure they still work out to maintain oh, yeah, and whatever, yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. like, come on. Well, that's the thing. Just you don't, didn't get that. Like that's why a lot just, of people feel. And like I'm up well, in that's the, the fence industry in general. But you know, Khloe Kardashian has that show called Revenge Body, where like she. So the idea is, it's like someone, whether it's a family member, or like a friend, or an ex, has mm. like wronged you, shamed you about your body. Some people go on their show, and it's like their mother or their ex or whatever. So it's mm. like you know what? Don't get even get revenge and make yourself look good, feel good, and then like at the end they reveal to them. And she uses her celebrity trainer is, um, you know, so nutritionist. Just get a fake ass like she did. No, but that's the thing. So that's what a lot of people are saying. How do you have a show? You hook people up with celebrity trainers and and whatever. And like they do end up looking really good as long as they stay on the regimen. But it's like 
people are upset that she has this show mm. when she has had stuff done and even if it hasn't been any major surgeries you look at her face she's had no, she's had right. jaw contouring with where you put fillers you know, in and it makes your thing clearly fake i notice i didn't even mention the ass first she's had lip fillers she's had like you know what i mean i don't personally i'm not a fan of lip fillers too me personally i've <laughs> seen some lips that look really great with lip fillers i've seen like even don't you have to constantly do it yeah, because it, it wears off. Fillers are, are like your bo- fillers are made with, uh, can't remember what it is off the top, but it's something that your body naturally has in it. So over a few months, your body will absorb it. So you do have to Didn't keep going. You, like by theory, just take do like a fat transfer. Or is it not fat that's in your lips? It's probably a different thing that's in your lips. People know. have done oh, like lip mind. implants and, and, and fat transfer to certain places. Remember Lisa Renna? You have to like jiggle if you had like so you're talking well technically you. your lips do kind of jiggle but you like, know what I mean imagine you're like talking and your lips is like twerking a little bit okay not <laughs> it wouldn't be that much no like you know who Lisa Renna is I don't know any celebrities Joe. no oh I my feel gosh. like I've heard that name Le- if, you, if you if like? you saw I'll, I'll pull it up on Instagram but Lisa Renna um, she got her lips done way 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 like I want to say like early 90s or something and she was like one of the first people to like have big lips I mean, she rocks it, but this was before filler, so her lips are permanent. And like, I don't know if it's an implant. I don't know if it's fat. I don't know what it is. But um, here, let me let me show you a picture of her. Because I have like one friend. I remember, <laughs> I remember she, she just came out of nowhere, and I'm like, you get to, she got lip fillers, but she didn't, but she acted like nothing. And I I love Lisa Redden. You you recognize this Absolutely. woman? Yeah, she's yeah, an she's actress. Pretty. Yeah, but she has like you know like the lips and I mean, she looks fine. That's part of what she's known for. She's married to Harry Hamlin. She's oh. on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills as well now. Uh, yeah, you can kind of. Yeah, you can. But I'm saying her lips have been like that for a while. So yeah, she was known as yeah. A lady who, who manufactured some blowjob lips. Yeah, but like, I don't know. I think that a lot of people who just go and get like lip injections it does not look good no I, yeah like, i have one friend she just came out of nowhere and her lips are just like and <laughs> i didn't say anything but like and she didn't mention it like i feel like if you you gotta say something mm-hmm. about it and i'll just like keep looking at her i was like did she do something to her lips because it just looked weird yeah it didn't look that some cool. people's mouth looks like a fucking baboon's asshole like it's legit it's just like a baboon's asshole. Like. yeah no i mean like i've heard that lip injections are like really painful too it's more painful than getting like botox or like you you have a lot of nerve like every time if you get like a pimple by your lip that to me the worst place to get a pimple is by your lip because you have so much nerve like this area right here like the mouth to like the chin area like this like the goatee area Mm -hmm. is pretty much to me every time i'd get a pimple there when i was a kid i would be fucking pissed because that's the most painful place to get a pimple if you want to pop it it just fucking hurts the amount of times if I'd have like a pimple, yeah, I like, guess you, you, especially like around like the under, like the, between the chin and the mouth, that area, mm. I'd sometimes get them there and I'd be like, fuck, you want to pop it? It's like, oh, it hurts too much. I hate those like pimples where like you feel them coming before they even, like it just hurts, like under mm. your skin hurts and like you can't, yeah. uh, I can't pop pimples anymore. My skin's too sensitive. I'll be scarred for 10 years, like legit scarred, so uh, emotionally and physically. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just. Just look at yourself in the mirror and be like, hey, I'm, I'm all right. Yeah, but you know that's easier said than done. Oh, of course. It takes time. I don't see anything wrong with, like, the fillers or whatever. I just think that, like, if I were to, for instance, get lip fillers, I would have to go Please. to a doctor. Huh? Please don't. Don't? <laughs> don't do that. I'll be very, 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 very disappointed. No, I don't. But don't say that because. If, I would be a little But here's the thing. If it's something that I want for myself. You got some Negro lips, you're good. If that's something that I want for myself, though, and you're here telling me, like, don't do it, I'll be so disappointed in you. Like, you should never make someone feel like, like, I I appreciate you saying that, like, you know, you accept me for the way I look and blah, blah, blah. But, like, yeah. Also, don't shame me for wanting to do something. I guess. It's different if, like, some people go overboard, you know what I mean? With, like, the filler and the plastic surgery and stuff like that. But you gotta be, you gotta be a little more understanding, you know? I agree, but... Okay. (laughs) You agree, but okay? Okay. I'll just stop there. No, I'm not. I'm just saying, you know. Don't get lip fillers. I might. Can I get lip fillers? You don't do that with your lips. I wish people could see this. You let me, you let me take a picture of you so I can show everybody what you look like? Do it. No. Here, come on. I let me. Let me put pull your it phone up. down, lady. Come, make no, that face. Make no, that face. No. Make that face. No one deserves to see my face. 
Make that face. Ew, stop. Make the face you were making before. Got it. If you want to see the picture, you can go to face. our blog. No, you can't go anywhere because you'll delete the picture, lady. No, I won't. You fucking okay. paparazzi make, ass. Make, make the first face. No, the first face. And you're, the mic is blocked. No, the, 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 the baboon dick sucking lip. No, but you're blocked by the mic. That's the point. Ugh. I don't know if I got any good pictures. Ew. <laughs> oh my god. The one thing that they're all horrible, but they're just you. not. That makes you feel great in the inside. Eugene, this is not. This. Look. <laughs> and then. Oh, yeah, that's hot. And then. Oh, I would, I would <laughs> suck his dick. Ew. For a, a toonie. A toonie? For a double double at Timmy's. For <laughs> most of the people who are listening because they don't live in Canada, what's a toonie? Toonie? Yeah. I don't fucking know what a toonie is. A toonie's two dollars. They know what a toonie is. It's a two dollar coin, though. We they don't know have... what a toonie is. A lot of people don't. They're not. They're smelly. So everyone who just because they don't know what it, you're. I, I honestly can't with you. Sometimes yes, the you shit. Can. That, sometimes the shit yes. that comes out of your mouth makes me truly, sometimes truly question. Sometimes there is just shit coming out of my mouth. <laughs> Why is that funny? I don't understand what's so funny. You know what? It's funny because it's true. Is it true? <laughs> it is. True day. Hey, is that where's it from again? I know, it's from um, the Proud <laughs> Family. I missed that show. You know show I used to fucking hate? Yvonne the Yukon. Yvonne the Yukon? Yes. Yvonne the Yukon. I fucking hate that show. I didn't watch it either. Yeah, I fucking hated it. I should, I'm just singing no. the theme song. Like, I didn't watch it. I'm it's familiar sun. with it, but I didn't. Yeah. The Mm-mm. sun is burning me. <laughs> well, it's, you're the one wearing a hoodie. It's I August. Was cold. It's, I was cold. We, uh, I have the, half a flu. We have. Uh, you have half a flu? I have a flu. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But you're wearing shorts. The fan is on. You're also in a hoodie. It's hot as hell in this room. Trying to be be what? Trying to be Trey. I'm not. I'm not gonna allow you to continue that. What I will say is to everyone listening, um, go and follow us. Follow me on Instagram at this square room. And on Twitter at this square room. Remember, it's not the square room; it's this square people room. People make that mistake. Some people really? Mm-hmm. The square, really the square room. People make that mistake. Yeah. Who? Just people. I don't people know. You know. Um, a couple. Yeah, some people I know. Tell them they're stupid. Oh my god. Anyways, yeah. So this square room on everything. Visit our website. Do all of that good stuff. And you know, we really appreciate you guys listening. And we would also appreciate if you just tell a friend. To tell a friend to tell a friend just share it tell your mom if you if you like what you hear okay. if you don't i don't blame you Eugene is a mess i get it i know i understand and i'm sorry i i'm i apologize on behalf of Eugene. i really do i'm tired i'm sorry guys. i'm tired of you i'm sick no 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 i just mean in general if they okay if fine just tired of you in general i'm tired of your poop too okay you're the one who just said shit I'm comes out of your mouth and you said this for the last what ten minutes? You've been clenching your asshole yeah, so you don't man. take a shit. Right now. It's fucking turtling. <laughs> oh Just my peeking god! Out. Okay, like, Hello stop, there, buddy. How you doing? This is me, your poop. That's gross. Yeah. Well, I don't know why it talks. To me. Are you saying you're turtling right now? <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're saying? You might have a little surprise in your chair later, Eugene. <laughs> yes, I need to shit. That bad? A little bit. You could have just gone if you I really. Just go. We're recording. We could pause it or something. Well, You're I'm trying to be one take Drake, so I need to hold my poop. One take Drake. Really? <laughs> I can't believe you were sitting here with like your asshole ready to explode, clenching it's not your fucking Ready to explode. Cheeks. It's ready to release the crack it. Oh my god! You're I'm actually charging so my gross. Kame, I'm charging my and I'm trying to release it. <sighs> With that being said, hello. You can find me on Instagram at Jonelle Wilson and Twitter as well, spelled J O N E L W I L S O N. And also, Eugene has Instagram H- at H U G H G E N E B. Boom. Got it. Beat you to it. I thought you were dyslexic. How do you know how to spell? <laughs> I can spell my name. Can you? Because yes. there have been some times and we have it on recording I where you struggle. I forgot my Instagram sometimes. No, because you're like, H, you. Huh? <laughs> Are you sure I wasn't under the influence of the drugs? 
I haven't done that while recording in a while. You did it like like three weeks ago. No, I didn't. Four weeks then. No, it's been a while. That's a month. No, but it's been a while. No. It's been longer than a month. No. Yeah? Well, you're fine. I know, I'm just saying. Nobody needs high Hugh. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah, okay. I call him high Gene. <laughs> Even though he doesn't have any. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's the podcast, guys. Bitch, don't Wait. get mad at me. We opened the podcast with you talking about how you don't fucking, like, you sit on dirty toilets and you come and you stink up I sit up on your my toilet. Ha- that's a dirty toilet. Because you sat on it. That's why no. it's dirty. That's why it's dirty. Is it? Yes. So when you sit on it, it's clean? Yeah. Have you smelt your ass? Yeah. Have you? Yes. What does my ass smell like? Like ass. <laughs> Actually, I feel like the, the smell from your balls is probably just wafting up. It probably is. Exactly. 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 You know how many times you've been like, "Oh, what's that smell?" You're like, "Oh, I think I'm just smelling myself." <laughs> <laughs> like, especially <laughs> what, days when you come home from work, you're like, "What's that smell?" Like, "Oh, <coughs> that's just me." It's my balls. That's gross. It's my sweaty bills. Sweaty bills. Mm, my ball. Oh I'm God. So done. I need a blow. Yeah, no, we're done. Thank you guys so much for listening. And as always, we will see you next Tuesday.